what kind of society do we want for ourselves to be? How should our economy, the jobs that we have, the jobs that we hold, how do all these converge to reflect and to embed our shared values, our beliefs? Two key themes we hear that are loud and clear. Those two themes are one, opportunities, and two, assurance. And they are both equally important. It really struck me that everyone is really actively thinking of how they can keep themselves relevant. But more than that, I think it's also just um, support in terms of mental wellness, in terms of understanding. So I think those conversations have come up a lot more. Ownership is very important on the job that you are doing. And yes, there is sometimes that we have a setback. However, if we face a setback, always remember, there is always a place that we can go. And I feel secure, feel safe that I know that even I lose my job today due to some crisis, tomorrow I have another job that I can actually go through. For all of us to have a better life, better livelihoods, Singapore must succeed. A social compact or a workers' compact, it cannot be a day of reckoning of discussion or even six months to a one year of discussion. It must be a consistent effort. Just like our social compact for the last 60 odd years that built up our country. We will need all of your help. We need all hands on deck to keep pace with the disruptions that we anticipate with all of these accelerating changes. Singaporeans must also work with us to be able to identify the opportunities in the economy so that they can set longer-term career goals and take early preemptive and proactive steps towards achieving them. Let us work towards creating a society that's brimming with opportunities and to continue to provide assurances and reassurances of support for all of our citizens.